This was such a beautiful film to watch, and one of the things that really inspired me as a, as a filmmaker was, in the end credits, the big letter of the last <laughs> thing you see is, you know, 52 days, 52 locations. What problem? No problem. And it just, I, I just watched it. I got to, to such a sense of, of pride of her accomplishment. Yeah, of empowerment, of declarative. This no. This film is, you know, it is Bombay. It is, you can smell it, it, it it's colorful. Mm. And she says in her movies, I, I want to provoke, I like to provoke. And this certainly is a, is a film, you know, you can't, you can't walk away from it and not be uh, No, she's a moved. very important filmmaker for a variety of reasons. And I think one of them is her own courage and conviction. She doesn't compromise, but she makes entertaining films while provoking. Mm -hmm. And you know, coming from India, then to the United States, now for the last 20 years she's lived in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And she runs a film lab there, inspiring others when she isn't making movies. Mm -hmm. So, so much of her career, I'm hoping that like Ava DuVarney is going to be the same type of, I see similarities between them. Yes. I mean, one of the things, you know, Mira often says is, if we don't tell our stories, who will? Mm -hmm. And I see that in Ava too and, and other current filmmakers, which is so inspiring. But so much of the film, and I found this throughout the entire festival, I could feel her heartbeat in the film. Mm -hmm. This, you know, I could feel her, her sweat and her passion mm -hmm. in telling. And caring. Exactly, in telling these stories. And if she set out to make a movie, it's as if she lived this film. Yes, so and she involved. comes in with knowing what she wants to say, but not being limited by her own agenda, mm -hmm. being open to mm -hmm. other ideas and to what the stories these that she learned from these kids and yeah. from the situation she was in, and adding to it, layering it, the nuances of it. Right. And that's so important, I think, to be able to let other ideas come to the table. And she gained their trust in a sense, again, this is a woman where her, her, she gained their trust and access because she was a woman, but it's not a woman's film. Oh, not and at all. When she comes to America, it's what, the movie she's assigned feels slightly like, oh, well, it's a woman's film, mm -hmm. you know, they, they try to make it more, that's one of the things that I want to explore when we're talking about this, it's just a good film. It doesn't yeah. have to be a woman's film. Yeah. Her point of view, her f her feeling for the children in the film is a more sensitive mm -hmm. uh, portrait. And again, it stayed with me. And again, mm -hmm. I, I definitely think it, it deserves a, a re-examination. I'm glad that we're... And that she's made a dozen other films and she's still working. And that she continues to And again, to work. without compromise, which yes. I admire so much. Well, that's what she, I mean, that's what she says on her movie, right? You know, what problem, no problem. She's just awesome. So Don't Go Far up next is a movie from Italian.